Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to talk about installing the ICOM IC7300 USB driver on Windows 10. The uh, first step that we're going to do is uh, to open a web browser and then you'll type in IC-7300 USB driver and You should see uh, a result here near the top. It's going to be on an ICOM website. This one's on icom.co.jp. And it, the title of the page is USB driver version 1.20. That's the current version. Uh, there may be an updated version by the time you watch this video. Just make sure you're using the latest version. I'm going to go ahead and click here. And then once it loads, in just a moment, maybe more than a moment. There we go. Um, what you'll want to check is make sure that your download type is USB driver, your version is the current version, and that under model name you have the IC7300 included. So you'll scroll down. I'm going to click agree. And I want to save this. That location is great. I'll go ahead and open the folder. So here we have our compressed zipped file. We'll double click it, then click on extract, extract all. That location is great. I'll click next, and then uh, it's popped up. No. So we'll drill down. And uh, what you'll want to know is uh, whether your version of Windows is 64 uh, bit or 32-bit. In this case I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows 10. I'm going to go ahead and close this browser. And I'll run the 64-bit uh, installer by double-clicking. If you get the user account control prompt you'll want to click yes. And then we get the CP210X USB to UART bridge driver installer. So we'll click next there. And we'll click that we accept the agreement and click Next. And it tells us that the driver is correctly installed. Now, of course, if you don't have the 64-bit version of Windows and you try to install the 64-bit driver, you'll probably get some type of error telling, that you have, telling you that you have the wrong system type or that there's no driver available uh, for that architecture or that there's a mismatch of some type. If you get that, just uh, run the other installer. Uh, for the x86. All right, so what I'm going to do here is close that window and I'm going to open my device manager. Uh, the easiest way to do that in your Cortana search box, you can just type devmgmt.msc and you'll see a result here. So I'll click that and we are in the device manager. So what I'll do is grab my USB cable for my IC7300, plug it into one of my USB ports, and we should pop up under Ports Common LPT. You'll see Silicon Labs CP210X USB to UART Bridge, and it will have assigned a COM port. In this case, COM8. So that completes the uh, installation of the ICOM IC7300 USB driver version 1.20 and uh, what you run into if you don't have that driver uh, set up correctly you can also right click on it select update driver software and you can uh, browse your computer you'll just need to know uh, what file location that you're wanting to use so uh, I'll just put C drive in there C colon and click Browse, and that should be under our Downloads. Ah, it is. This uh, CD-301501-003 folder. And once you have that expanded, just select the Driver folder, and you can click Next. And in this case, it tells us that we already have the correct driver installed. Now, uh, there is another method that's a little bit uh, more direct about uh, updating your driver. 
if it tells you the correct driver is installed, but you know it's not correct, you can go through this process again. Uh, right click and uh, update driver software. Browse my computer. We're going to use the same location, but we're going to tell it, let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. So it'll pop up this window. Uh, we have show compatible hardware clicked, and it's telling us uh, that we have this driver available. We can tell it that we have this. I'll put C colon backslash in there and tell it to browse. Now the way to get to the folder that uh, your downloads are in is you'll go from the C drive to users and then to whatever account you're logged into. In this case, I'm logged into my demonstrator account. And then from there to downloads, there's our CD folder. We'll drill down to there and we're going to tell it open and then click OK. And it's going to take just a moment here. And I believe in this case what it's telling us is that uh, that is the driver that's in that folder, which makes sense. So we'll click Next, and it tells us that we have successfully updated the driver. That's a way to force Windows to update the driver even if it thinks it's the correct driver. So I'll click Close, and close that, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Uh, I hope that you found this video informative, and I also hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.